It's your last Monday. Okay? It's the last Monday of school. It is. It truly is. Okay? All right? So, today we're going to have a choose your own adventure. Okay? Okay? For real. It's real. Okay? No. Well, yes and no. Yeah. Okay? Um, tomorrow we're going to start reviewing for the test that's going to come up on Wednesday. Then Wednesday you'll get a review packet for your final, the first one. Thursday you'll get the second one. And then there's no school on Friday, no school on Monday of next week, and then it's finals. So your final, everybody in here, your final is Wednesday, May 29th, which is day two of finals, period six. And it's in here. It's in here. Okay? So it's day two, period six. Okay? So if you got a half sheet this morning in homeroom, day two, period six, pre alch room, what is this, room 216? Right there, 216. Day two, pick, 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 day two, period six. Wednesday, not Tuesday, because you have finals Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then those. Huh? All right, so what I would like you to do is I would like you to take out your note packet, okay, and I would like you to go all the way to the back, the very back side of the note page is blank. It better not come out. Put it in your bag. If you're going to show up five minutes late by going to the school store, put your food, put everything away, like get your note packet out, get ready to go. Okay? All right? So I want to do here. What we're going to do right now is we're going to walk through the three different, sorry, we're going to walk, we're going to walk through the three different methods that we have to solving a system of equations. And we're going to put it on that page because then on Wednesday, all you got to do is you got to look at one side of one piece of paper and it's all right there for you. Okay? You don't have to be flipping through your notes trying to figure out, okay, well, this is substitution, now, but now this is the elimination, stuff like that. It's all right there. Okay? All right? So let's do that. So this stuff that we're going to write down here now. You can write it down the way that I write it down up here, or you can write it down however you want to write it down. But we're going to talk about the three methods of solving systems of equations that we want to still talk about. Okay? Anyone, give me one of the methods. Graph. Okay, so let's start with graphic. So we will have two equations when we're graphing. What is, and now, like, we have steps written down for some of them, but let's put them in steps that we make up, that we understand, that we do. Okay? All right? So what's the first thing that you got to do if you are solving by graphing, which would have been L1 and L2? First thing that you gotta do, if you need to flip back and forth between the, those, let me, that's fine. Okay, but so the L1 and L2 was graph. So it's the first thing you gotta do. Anybody, we'll, we'll open it up to anybody. Okay, how am I gonna graph lines? Now we've been graphing lines for three units now, if you include this one. How do we graph lines? Even before that, even before we do points, even before that's points, even before we do points, what have you got, Austin? Exactly. You're going to put both 
equation. And y equals mx plus b form. Okay. We're going to solve both equations for y. First thing, do that twice. Then you're going to take one of your equations, and what are you going to do with that? How do I plot the y intercept? From the origin, plot B. So if B is positive, we're going to go up. If B is negative, we're going to go down from the origin that many, and we're going to put a dot, right? Right? And again, you guys have been doing this for a while. You should be like, yeah, yeah, that's what we do with this. Exactly. Okay? Then from that point, then what are you going to do? And why is my slope important? Because it's what? Because it's what? It's <laughs> Maybe if we looked around the room, it's what? It is a rate of change, but even 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 better of an R line. Say louder, Levi. Rise over. Slope does not start an arc, but rise over run. Yeah. Then what we're going to do is we're going to repeat step two because we've got a whole nother line to put on there. So now we've got two lines on our graph. Now what? Nope. The point where they cross? Can we just call it the point where they cross? Okay. Right? So the intersection of the two lines, the point where they both cross, that's the solution, right? How are we going to write said solution? No, oh, that's a line. So how am I going to write it? X comma one. Okay. Now, we didn't really talk a lot about step number five here in solving them, or to me in graphing them, but we did something extra after the other two ways. What did we do at the very end so that we knew if we were right or not? We checked our answer. Yep, we're going to check our answer, and we're going to plug it in to both of our equations, and we're going to make sure that we're correct. You should know very shortly after you get done with the problem if you're right or not. If you're right, then you get to go on. If you're wrong, you better have an eraser and go back and fix what you did wrong and then get the right answer. Okay? It does you no good to write down a wrong answer. Okay? And you should know after every problem because the last step, in all of these methods, it's check. Okay. Should be the easiest test ever to grade. Okay. 
What's next? What's another method that we have for solving a system of equations? What do you got? Substitution? This was L3 and L4. What is the first thing that I have to do or that you have to do in substitution? What do you got, Austin? We're going to solve one of our equations for one of our variables, right? Okay. In the end, when I know that I'm done with this step number one, what should I see on my paper in front of me? What? No, shouldn't see the answer. Because we haven't, we're not even we're near or done. We just solved one equation for one variable. So I got nothing to check. John, what do we got? So we should see x equals or y equals, right? Okay. So you should see on your paper an x equals or a y equals. Now, a lot of the times that's done for us already. Okay. A lot of the problems that we have in here that's already solved for us. We give it like y equals mx plus b right off the start. Okay? So that's already done a lot of the times for us. Okay? What's step number two then? What do you got, Okay, so we're going to figure out what we got in step number one, and we're going to plug that into the other equation, right? Can't go into the same equation because that's going to screw everything else up. So I got to go into the other equation. Okay. Somebody other than Austin, now this time, what's step number three? What do we do now? No, we just did substitute. We're going to solve that equation. Yep. That's going to give us an equation with one variable that we can then turn around and solve. Now what? No, nope. yeah, we only have one variable. So we're going to substitute back. We're going to find that other variable. We're going to plug that back into our other equation, find our other variable. All right. Then what? In order to pair form. So that means that's x comma y again. Or alphabetical order. Because on some of the homework problems tonight, you don't have x and y. Some of them have b's and b's or a's and b's. So we have to go alphabetical there. And what else do we do in step five? We check our answer. What do we got? Elimination. Elimination. Yep. We 
least favorite form? Substitution is your least favorite? Oh, gravity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like, I do like elimination best. And I, my, actually, my, my top three, my, my three favorite go this way. With graphing being the least. Because you got to have graph paper then, you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah. Okay? Okay? So, elimination, what do we need to do first? We need to what? No. 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 Yes. What do you got to do first? First. What do you got? No. Okay. Why do I need to look at it with my eyeballs? So you know what you're doing. <laughs> why should I look at why should I look at the problem with my eyeballs? To see what? Even before that. What's the page and what's the problem? You guys are you guys are looking past the easiest of the easy ones. No, well, that's part. That would be part of it. Yes, we, we wanted everything lined up. So in elimination, we got to have all of our x's, all of our y's, all of our equals, and all of our numbers. Yes, but even before that, or it'd be after that. Were you good? Okay. Stop. 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 Share with us. He wasn't talking yet, though. Yeah, exactly. What do we got to do first in elimination? Eliminate. Yeah. <laughs> That's not till three. What? Nope, that's still, that's number two. Why should I think about it? What should I think about? What should we think about? Shouldn't we think about which variable we're going to eliminate? Right? We should think about which variable is easier. Maybe it's already set up for us. Okay? Not necessarily. Okay? But maybe we think about which variable is going to be easier to solve for or to eliminate, I should say. Okay? Same thing over in substitution. When you're solving your one equation for your one variable, you want to be easy on yourself. You want to pick the easiest one to do there. Okay. Okay. So the first thing you got to do is you got to pick which variable you're going to eliminate. Then, now we've said it like eight times, right? Okay. Right. So now we need to get the same... Digit in front of the same variable. Only what? Only what? One of them's got to be negative. One of them's got to be negative, and the other one's got to be positive. positive. So that's that opposite coefficient that we were that you guys are trying to give me at step number one. Okay. All right. How do we go about doing that? How do we go about getting the same digit? Multiplying it. Multiplying what? What is it? The whole equation? Yes. Yep. Come on. I don't know what's going on there. I need to put an S there. Things popped on the 
train film of this What are we doing next in elimination? Add the equations, and then what are we going to do? And solve right away? He should be. He shouldn't be distracting you. Yeah. Then what? So now we got to find that other variable again, right? So we got to find that other variable. So now we got both variables solved for. Now what? Write it as x comma y, and and check it. Yeah. X comma y, and we gotta check it. Okay. All right. Now, what we've just given you is I have given you. Everything that you need to know right here on one piece of paper for your test on Wednesday. Yes, sir. What? You've been able to use your homework and your notes and everything for the entire year. Wait, this final is on the entire year? I'm literally talking about Wednesday. Oh, yeah. For the final, you can still use your homework and your notes and everything that's why we told you never to run anyway. Okay. So now today, what we're going to do is instead of saying solve this one using substitution, solve this one using elimination, solve this one using graphic, okay? we're going to let you choose the method that you want. Okay? So that's why it's a choose your own adventure day, because you get to choose the method that you want to solve these systems of equations. Okay? So I'm going to quick hand out the homework first, because then we're going to do a couple of homework problems right here in class, so that we know we got to jump start. Okay. So, number one and number two. Now, we're going to be cognizant, which means we're going to be aware, we're going to think about how we're going to do a problem before we do the problem. Okay? Because knowing what we know about the three methods will now help us to determine which method is best to go with. All three of these methods are going to get us the same answer. Okay? It's just how we use those three methods to figure it out. Okay? So looking at and I'm going to take, I'm actually going to, I shouldn't say three methods, because graphing, no, I told there's no graph paper on the front side. Okay. Because you probably wouldn't have chosen graphing as your favorite method anyway. I 100% think you would not have to. Okay. All right. Okay. So, in number one, which should be your number one, yep, it is your number one. 
What are we thinking? Substitution or elimination? Elimination. Okay, Austin, tell me why you think substitution. No, you said substitution three times, rather loud. I can back the video up if you want. Yeah, we said, I don't know. I don't know. I just want to be like the You just want to be the outlier? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, somebody that said substitution, John, I think you said substitution. Or you said elimination. And is it set up? It's already set up for you, right? We've got the same digit in front of the Ys, one positive and one negative. So it's already set up for us. So yes, elimination in number one should be your choice, your preferred choice of way to do it. Could you still do it with substitution? Heck yeah. You'll get the same answer, okay? But it's already set up for you to do elimination, okay? So step number one in elimination said we need to pick a variable. What variable are we going to pick? Why? Because it's already set up for it. Step number two says we need to get the same digit, only one positive and one negative, in front of that y variable. Done. Okay. Step number three said, now, mind you, you should have your note sheet right out right next to you. Like, you should be, like, if I could pick Dylan up and turn him uh, to the side this way so that you could see his desk, he can't see his desk. So I'll just do this. He's got the notes that we just took on one side, and he's got the homework that we're working on right on the other. So that you should be able to answer these questions. When I say, what is step three in elimination, it's added two equations together and solve, right? So we're going to add the two equations together, and when we do that, 1x plus 6x, 7x, negative 2y plus 2y, 0 goes away, 0 plus negative 14, negative 14. So we add the two equations, and elimination held, and elimination is now eliminated the y variable okay we're still in step number three okay we're still in step three now we did the first half of step three we added the equation what's the second half we need to solve how am i going to solve this equation i'm going to divide both sides by step That's going to give me x equals negative 2. Okay. So that's step number 3. Done. What is step number 4 in elimination? We need to put that back into one of the equations, right? Top or bottom equation. Again, let's be smart. Top equation is easier to put into? I would concur that the top equation, it only has an x for 1, so that, that's good, but it also is equal to 0. Okay. So we're going to put in negative 2 here in for x. Now I need to solve that equation for my variable of y. First step. Add two. What was that, Austin? Find both sides by negative two. So what do we got? Not yet. Not yet. Got to put it in order pair form first. Okay. okay. So we're going to put it in negative 2 comma negative 1 form first. And now we're going to substitute negative 2 in for x and negative 1 in for y in both of my equations. Negative 2 minus 2 times negative 1 has to equal 0. Negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 1. Positive 2. 
negative 2 plus 2 is 0 equal to 0. Yes, so it checks out in the first equation. Now I gotta check it out in the second equation. Six times negative two plus two times negative one has to be negative 14. Six times negative two, negative 12. Positive two times negative one, negative 12 plus negative two. And negative 14 is equal to negative 14. So therefore, now we are right. We have earned the right to circle our answer. Or in your case, write the answer on the piece of blank. Number two. Which method do you, would you like to use for number two? Substitution, because it's already set up for you, right? Okay. We already have, in step number one for substitution, we already have a y equals something equation. Okay. So we're going to plug that into the other equation. I'm going to plug that in for y right there, and that's going to give me 4x plus 4 minus 2x equaling 8. Then it said we got to solve that. First thing that we got to do with that. And what? Okay, what do we get? Then subtract four. Give me right this down. OCD kicked in me. Now what? What's step number four? Which one? Which equation should I put it into? Which one should I put it into? Bottom one, right? Because it's already y equals. Why do more work when we don't have to do more work? Let's put it into the bottom equation. The bottom equation was y equals 4 minus 2x. So then that's going to be y equals 4 minus 2 times, now in place of x, we're going to put 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. So what's next? Okay, what is it? And then what? Check it now again. Okay. We go way back up here. Four times two plus zero has to be eight. Four times two is eight. Eight plus zero is Eight and eight is equal to eight. Okay. And we have to check the other one. Zero is equal to four minus two times two. Two times two is four. Four minus four is zero, and zero is equal to zero. Check. Yeah. 
on the front side of your homework, you have now done one of each method you can choose. You have to do at least one more in each method. Okay? But then after that, you get to choose. Okay? So you need to have two substitutions and two eliminations on the front side. But there's six total problems. So in the next four problems, you got to do at least one of the methods once. Okay? Then if you flip the page over, there's the two graphing problems. Okay? And then there's two, does this point work? So basically just doing the checking 